talking about Mr. Modi, I, if I may uh, say so, if there is one fault that Mr. Modi can be accused of, it's not intolerance, it's extreme tolerance. <laughs> so far, let, let, let's even, let's, let's talk about data. The um, underage, child, underage man who was arrested in Bengal because he wrote something about a religious icon of some religion, he was arrested. Was he, a Hin was, 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 was he from a minority? No, he wasn't. The person who was arrested in Bangalore recently for writing something on social media, the founder of Postcard, why was he arrested? Whereas mainstream journalists who have been lying through their tweet, lying through their teeth on Twitter over and over again, some very, very famous names. There has been a journalist who faked a whole interview, a whole studio recorded interview with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and she cut and pasted parts of it and she asked questions and she passed it off as a live interview. In any other country, she would have lost her job and been blacklisted for life. She's still peddling semen filled balloon stories. And even when it's proved wrong, she's not taken back her tweet or she's not apologized. And there is nothing happening to these people. And these are the people who day in and day out talk about intolerance and how India has become intolerant post-2014. It's ridiculous. It's a sickening, sickening narrative. Mm -hmm.